Hello, this is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers. Today we're going to be taking a look at a backpack by Wonder called the Provoke. This is a travel bag slash camera bag slash go anywhere bag. Pretty amazing. Um, I recently reviewed a bag by Peak Designs called the Everyday Sling. This is a uh, 10 liter bag. So you can sort of get a comparison between the two. Uh, this is much smaller. It's more of a, a day bag. Um, and this is definitely a, a travel bag where you can put um, extra gear in here. So we're going to go through the whole bag and sort of walk you around. So to begin with, it has a, a front pouch here. So if you're a cyclist or something like that, you can actually put, say, a lock in the front. Um, so if you're commuting, this bag's not a bad bag to commute. So that's the first pocket. Um, secondly, this bag is a roll top. Um, and what's sort of nice about that is it will add a lot of space to the bag, probably about four to five liters total. Um, so you can stuff things in there, like I got a jacket in there, so you can stuff that down. The, it's really easy to close. It has sort of, I don't know if this is metal underneath or what it is, but it's uh, pretty sturdy. And then you just roll it down. And then here's a clip here and you just it has uh, some webbing that you can just put the clip on and then cinch it down no problem um, when i was traveling to jamaica um, i used this a lot i had like two or three jackets plus like an extra shirt uh, because when i'm on the airplane i tend to get cold and so it's nice to be able to pull this all out right as you board and then cinch it down and then you can stuff it under your seat um, I was actually able to do that with this bag, or you can put it in the overhead bin. But either way, it's just sort of nice to have some extra room. Plus, when you're traveling, if you pick up something and you'll have some room in your bag to carry it back home with. So that's a really neat feature of this bag. The handles on the bag, so you can sort of carry the bag two ways. You can use these handles, and they have magnets, so they sort of attach to each other. So you can just carry it like a tote bag. And then on the back, it has regular backpack straps. And the one thing that's really nice about this backpack is the straps are nice and wide and they're not too thick with the material. Um, I found them to be almost perfect. Um, so going back on the front here, there's a side pocket. And so you can put say a monopod or a tripod in here. But I think it's really designed more for um, a water bottle or something like that. Um, but it does unzip, so if you have a, a bigger water bottle, it should fit in here nice. But if you do put a tripod in here, um, you have a little cinch strap on the side, so that should work fine. Um, also on the bottom, there's some uh, places to put straps. So if you prefer to have, say, your monopod or tripod on the bottom of the pack, you can do that as well, no problem. And so the straps that um, I have that come with the pack are these things right here, and they have these little uh, quick release sort of levers. And so the way it works, I'll just do one in the front here. So I have a little loop here, and I can just put it through and then lock it in place, and then I can do the same thing on the other side. And then to remove it, um, it's real easy. So when they were designing this bag, they didn't want to have like all these straps hanging out. So that's why they have things that you can add or take off pretty quickly. Um, the same thing here. Um, this was an extra. So I believe uh, the unit I got was sort of uh, the photograph bundle. So it came with a few extra things. So it came with the hip straps here. And again, just like these straps, you can remove the hip straps. And so if I just look at this, Got this thing right here. Let's see here. A little harder on this. Okay, there we go. All right, I guess I'm having some technical difficulty. And there we go. All right, so you can just remove it and it has the same thing here. Um, uh, the strap on one side has a little pocket so you can put maybe a little bit of change or something like that in there. Um, and then to put it back on, should be easier. You just slide it in and then you have this little metal hoop that you just click on and then it's good to go. Um, 
going back to the uh, top here. So in the top, you can put things like an iPhone or something like that, and it has some this sort of nice material so it won't scratch up the screen. I presume you could probably put uh, sunglasses in here as well. Uh, just be aware that if you have other things in the pack, um, this pocket's not totally secure as far as things bumping into it. So that's one thing to remember. On the side here, on the other side, we have a little pocket. So here you can put things like keychains and maybe I have some business cards in there. Um, and so you just put your keychain, no problem. Um, on, on this side, lower side, um, you have access to your camera or if you have camera gear. If you don't have camera gear in here, it, you just have access to the side pocket. So in this case, I have a Canon 70D. So it's real easy to get in and out if I needed access to that. And this part is padded. So, and it also has sort of like this felt stuff so it won't scratch up your camera. And then there's a, another additional pocket here so you can store things like batteries uh, or flashcards, things like that, that you might want. Now, uh, for those that aren't into photography, um, the, the uh, photo bundle with this pack comes with a, uh, basically a, a square camera case. And so I'm gonna open the pack up here. So the way you open it up is on the back side. I'm gonna have access to the inside of the pack. And what's nice is it will lay flat. And so here's where the most of my camera gear is stored. And then I also have this little mesh area here that I have access to anything that I put down the roll top. So I have sort of two places I can access um, my clothing or whatever gear I have in here. And so if I unzip this, I have this uh, protective pad. And then here's my Canon camera that I had in there. I have a GoPro sitting there and I have a bunch of dividers so you can put lenses and things like that in there, uh, no problem. Now, if you didn't want this, uh, the photo uh, or the camera case here, or cube as they call it, um, that's removable. And so you could take that out and then you'd have all that storage for extra clothes or whatever you, else you needed. Um, I, as far as backpacks go, I really like this backpack. I mean, it's super, it's just a great, great backpack. They pretty much thought of everything with this thing. It's pretty amazing. Um, in the front here, um, you have room for both a, uh, say a 15 inch, um, I have a MacBook here and also an iPad. And so you can quickly just take the, the computer out if you needed to. And so uh, when I was going through the airport, this was great because I had quick access to my computer. I could take it out and lay it into one of the trays for scanning. Um, last time I flew, they also required anything that was bigger than a cell phone. So I was able to lay the bag flat, grab my computer, grab some of the things that were bigger, put those out for scanning as well. And then once the scanning was done, I was able to quickly put everything back in place pretty fast. Um, it was a pain, but it was still, uh, I've used other bags and it hadn't been that easy. Another really cool feature of this bag is it has what I call this hidden pocket or secret pocket. So it sits flush to your back. And so you can put things in here like your passport, money um, and wallet or anything else that you might need that you don't want people to have quick access to. But the great thing about this little area is you actually do have pretty fast access to this. So uh, again, when I was going through the airport, I needed to get to my passport really quickly. It's all right here. I know exactly where it is in the bag. A lot of times when you're taking backpacks and things like that, you put things in various pockets and you're like, where did I put it? Um, this makes it super easy. You know exactly where everything is there, all your uh, you know essential stuff. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, so on, on the pack here, if you are taking a camera, you have a little lens cap holder. So you can put the lens cap here. I thought that was sort of a neat idea. Um, as far as the shoulder straps, again, these things are really wide. 
and super comfortable. Okay, so when you have the pack on, so let me just quickly just put it on here. So when the pack's on, you also have a little chest strap. So that sort of holds it on tighter. And again, I guess I took this thing off, but you would have a, a waist strap as well to distribute the, the weight. Um, the, the waist strap is an extra. Uh, so if you buy the pack, which is base, it's like $204. And then if you bundle it with some other things, it runs about 260. So when I went to Jamaica, I used three bags. So I used this bag to carry all my valuable camera gear. So I had like a Sony a7 III, I had a microphone, I had a, a nice uh, screen display. So I put all that stuff in this bag because I didn't want to lose it um, if the handlers, airplane handlers and stuff like that did something weird with it. Then the next thing I had was I, I packed this in my the, my check bag. So I had a North Face check bag. And so I just packed this flat. And then when I got to Jamaica, this was sort of my day bag that I put just some of my essential camera gear in. And then um, this was sort of, if I needed more heavier stuff, I did that. Also bought a, uh, brought a tripod. Um, so that's what I'm actually shooting with right now is a, a monopod but it has feet on the bottom. And I'll, I'll talk about that or I'll review that at a later date. But anyway, um, I think you're gonna be really, really happy with this. And even if you're not a photographer, this is a great bag, uh, carry on, travel, um, just, just absolutely love it. Please uh, check out gearmasters.com. I have a lot of reviews. I actually have a review up on this bag on the website. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That really helps out. That helps me get product in and I'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.